Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some Kyoka Jiro and My Hero 1 Justice 2 Online. We're going to take her into some unranked matches because ranked is still down on Xbox. So, um, yeah, um, I kind of wish it was different where I could still play unranked, but they haven't fixed it yet. So for the time being, we're going to take Jiro into unranked. So let's get into it. Alrighty, we're hopping into our first match. We're battling a Hawks. So it'll be a DLC fight. Let's get into it. Well, I've already broken character. <laughs> I was like, before I started this video, I'm like, okay, we can do Jiro's video in two ways. I could either be low, like, you know, like how, like, Jiro's kind of like a low tone character where she's kind of like, you know, um, I don't know really how to describe it. She's not really, like, dark like Tokuyami, but, like, she's kind of like, you know, like a very, like, low, like, you know, like, low speaking kind of character. Um, I was like, yeah, I could be either that or I can sing the entire video and seeing that I can't sing I kind of suck at singing. I'm like, let's just go with the low tone kind of video and uh, I already broke that I, I've already broken character. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've already broken character <laughs> um, But uh, yeah, so let's start talking about Jiro. Um, Jiro in this um, Jiro in this game. She She's a very fun character. I think um, she got changed from the first game um Let's see, well, how did she get changed? Uh, she got a new um, move to her kit. Her new move is Amplify a Jack, or Side Quirk 1, where she kind of tears up the ground with her uh, sound waves, and uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what got changed, or not, it's not really changed, it's just, well, no, it is a change, but like, it's something that just got added from the first game, which is nice. I love it when characters get, you know, new moves in a game, it's very fun. Um, other than that, let's talk about her other quirk specials. Her quirk special 1 is um, pretty much the uh, sound waves. It can be used to um, block incoming projectiles, and um, yeah, it can also cause a stun. And that's why a lot of people like running her as an assist, because that's the move you get with the assist. It's good for guard pressure and good for combo starters. Um, her quirk 2 is where she just launches her earlobes. I never thought I'd ever say that in my life, but I just did, so yeah. And her side quirk 2 is the explosion, where she kind of just hits the ground and does that. Um, so yeah, that's her quirks. Uh, her yellow attack is pretty basic, it's kind of just where she launches her earlobes, but it's armored, and same thing with her red, it just does that too. Which is a very good red attack, but, um, like most, it leaves you very open. Uh, let's see. Another thing with this too is, hang on, I'm just gonna block this real quick. Another thing is, you can use her level 1 in the air, so she's one of the characters that kind of get that treatment where you can use it. And it's kind of like one of the ones where you can actually do a lot with it, you can use it for good guard pressure, or you can um, just use it for good damage. And okay, Hawks, my man's just moving through the air. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to run away, boy. No, nope, Jiro's got that. Good. Um, I don't even know what I was going with there. I was gonna say good damage, but I, I think Jiro has some like pretty okay damage. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it, honestly. Her, I covered her quirk specials. I covered what got changed in this game. I covered her our level one persist pretty much and um yeah that's pretty much Jiro in a nutshell I think uh trying to, trying to think if there's anything else um I, I guess her playstyle is kind of like you cause stuns and then you know with a lot of her attacks not just with the sound waves with their earlobes and you kind of go in for some good damage and uh yeah but I'm pretty sure you can find other ways to play her but that's pretty much the main gameplay I see from her but overall, I think she's a pretty fun character in this game. Um, I used to play her a lot in the first game, but I kind of just dropped her in the second. So I, I think I might get back into her, but I'm not really sure. I've only played her a couple times in the second game. But uh, yeah, GG to that guy, and uh, let's get into the next match. Okay, we're hopping into our next match, and we're battling a Dobby. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, so I think I covered pretty much everything with Jiro in the game. Not much to talk about with her, I feel like, because she's kind of like a very self-explanatory type of character, I think. Um, but yeah, so now let's get into the next part, which is the anime. And um, let's see. Like, um, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to go. I'm trying to think because, like, Jiro is, a, like, my in my definition, like, the perfect type of, like, um, a, a side character, I would say. You know, like, because she's one of the side characters that literally got 
the treatment correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a backstory for her. We got a ho like, a, um, you know, hobbies and stuff like she likes to do. We have her personality, and we even got to see her parents. Like, she's literally just the definition of like the perfect side character. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really wish some of the other characters got the treatment Jiro did too, because like, you know, I, I like how Jiro got the treatment, you know what I'm saying? Like, if other characters got that same treatment, I feel like I would like them a lot more. I already do like pretty much everyone in Class 1A a lot, but, you know, if they got all the treatment that Jiro did, I feel like I would like them a lot more too. And that's why I really like Jiro, because, like, we got to see a fantastic backstory, you know, and then we got to see her character, like, just grow and evolve. And then we have her, like, personality, like, in the beginning of the series, we got to see pretty much she's kind of like, um, not a dark and edgy character like Tokoyami, but she's kind of like a like a low like talking if that makes any sense like she's like you know very like low tone talking kind of character um kind of like a leave me alone kind of character but then she's you know she has like her light side where like um she likes to joke around with kaminari when he goes into his yay mode and stuff like that like you know we see that she's like you know it's got like a light side to her and that's awesome and we've seen that character kind of progress and stuff like that and then we know her hobbies and stuff like that like she likes to um play instruments and stuff and she likes to teach some of the other class 1a students about that like uh Uraraka and hagakure but you know like that's just really cool and i like her story too where she wants to be a hero and a musician like that's awesome and i know a lot of people don't like the cultural festival arc you know like because general was kind of not like the best villain or like it kind of felt like a waste of time, but like I thought it was pretty cool because we got to deep dive into Jiro, and you know it's 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 like nice because like if they did that with like like I said if they did that with like every class one A student like we got to like deep dive as much as we did with Jiro, I feel like everyone would like everyone in class one A. Like I already like everyone in class one A, but like I would like them ten times more. Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Jiro is one of the side characters that literally got the treatment perfectly, and uh, that's just awesome. Like uh, that's why I really like Jiro, and uh, yeah. So, GG to that guy, and uh, let's get into the next match. Alrighty, we're hopping into our next match. We're battling an Aizawa player. Okay, I haven't played against an Eraser head in a while, so let's see how this goes. So, I'm gonna try something. Does this work? Oh, uh, no, he, I, I think he was delayed a bit. I was gonna try... Oh, shoot. I was gonna try to catch him if he jumped and see if he would jump into it, because a lot of people, like, when they start the play, they like to start off jumping. Oh man, okay, so this guy kind of seems like he relies on a lot of counters, uh, but we can work around that. We have the download, sort of. I mean, that's depending on how he likes to play. Oh, that didn't come out fast enough. I thought it was a really fast character in this game. Um, okay, roll out. Oh shoot, I can do that. There's my health bar. Roll out. Boom. Nice damage. Jiro? Oh, not Jiro. Yeah, Yorozu. What am I talking about? Um, oh, something I forgot to talk about is her quirk, Earphone Jack. Uh, Earphone Jack is a really unique superpower. Like, Horikoshi likes to come up with, like, a lot of unique superpowers, and I feel like Earphone Jack really falls under that category of unique. Like, the creator, he came up with so many unique ones, like, Dupli Arms, Tape, um, Earphone Jack. Like, they're just so unique. And Earphone Jack is a really good quirk, too. Like, it's not like it's a bad quirk. It's, like, really good. You know, like, it can be used in multiple scenarios. Rescue, attack, capture. Like, you know, rescue because you can find, like, hurt people. Um, capture because of the stun effect. And, uh... Oh, shoot. Yep, there we go. Uh, I knew he was going to do that. We have the download, baby! But, uh, yeah, like I said, can be used in multiple different scenarios. Like, rescue if she's looking for people to help. Capture because the sound wave stun. And attack because, you know you can get in and do damage. I'm, I'm starting to think of game logic there, but it could probably be used in actual combat and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it can. But then again, I haven't really seen Jiro in like a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really haven't seen her like fight one-on-one. -on -one. I guess if you count season one when her Kaminari and Yayorozu fought that villain, I guess that's something, but like that really wasn't like a one-on-one -on -one kind of match. Nor, I mean, neither was the thing against Prism like um, when her and Koda fought. That was more of a Koda kind of thing. Which we haven't covered Cody yet, so that'll be an interesting topic, because he's a character that kind of doesn't get that much treatment either, but let's see. Uh, oh shoot, okay, he was jumping, so that didn't work. Uh, but let's go back in. Oh snap, that was good. That's good. Uh, okay, delete my quirk. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that, um, that, that, that's a very smart move. Because, like I said, Jiro kind of relies heavily on stuns. 
Oh, that was so smart, that counter. That was extremely smart. He really likes his counters. And that's really interesting. Because I, I haven't really seen an Azawa player rely that heavy on counters. Like, he even knows how to use it when in guard pressure. Which is, like, extremely good. Oof, okay. I'm um, waiting for that to go away. Come on, I wish you're effective. There you go. Oh, dang! Aizawa's got some crazy range. Dang it, I should have moved away further. Okay, that's fine. Alright, how are we starting this game off? Yeah, there's the counter. There it is. There's the Aizawa player. Boom. I guess we can spare a level. Let's go into level one. No, but this Aizawa's player is really good. Like, I. Uh, and it's really interesting because I've never really seen Aizawa players rely that heavy on the counter ability. That's crazy. Um, okay. Yeah, I can the quirk. Makes sense. Ooh, Rappa. Take this sweet time there. Okay. Let's get a Kaminari out here. Boom. Alright, and then we get Yagirozu. Alright, into level 2. That worked out really well. <laughs> that worked out really well. I wasn't expecting all those things to just work out extremely well. But that that Aizawa play was really good. Like I I liked how he utilized the counters and uh, um, waiting for response. Did he rage quit? Um, I think he did. Um, okay, <laughs> I think he rage quit. Or maybe there was a connection error. I don't know. But either way, he was an extremely good Aizawa player. I like how he utilized the counters in his um you know when um getting attacked by guard pressure that was extremely nice but no he was a really good Aizawa player but um yeah I think I'm gonna call the video quits there um Jiro an extremely fun character in this game I think I, I say that a lot of, about a lot of these characters in this game but it's just the honest truth a lot of them are really fun in this game um she has like a lot of different tools like a lot of different stun tools like if you want a character that gets like a lot of stuns Jiro I think is definitely the character for you she has her quirk um one which is the uh you know just the sound waves and then pretty much all of her other quirk abilities just cause a stun and she can get in do some damage um, she's got a nice level one that can be used in the air. It's just overall a very nice kit, um, especially with the new addition Amplified Jack. It's really nice. In the anime, an extremely good character, like no, a perfect character, like the perfect definition of a side character. You know, she she literally got everything right i think the only thing she needs now is like a good one-on-one -on -one fight with someone you know but you know either way it's just a really good character um i wish all the characters like in class when i got that same amount of treatment you know and i feel like if they did like they would all be a lot more likable in the community like I, I don't get me wrong i really like all the characters in class 1a They're, like i really do that's why i like my hero so much but like if they got the same amount of treatment jiro did that would be like really good but I know a lot of people really just like to keep up with like the Deku and Bakugo and Todoroki kind of thing, which makes sense. They are the main characters, but you got to give some side characters some time to shine, you know, but Jiro, an extremely good character, you know, very well, like rounded, executed, you know, like all of her like story points, not story points, like her story, her backstory. It's just extremely good. And I think Jiro is a really likable character in the series. Alrighty, it's that time in the video, random number generator time. So let's figure out who we are playing next. Or is it going to be a challenge video or is it going to be a character? I'm trying to think who we have left. Um, we still got a few characters left. We have, we still have to do Ida. We still have to do Mineta. We still have to do Aoyama and we still have to do Koda. Okay, and then we still have the two variations of Deku, Shoot Style and Infinite 100%. So let's see what we're getting. Uh, 1 to 20, number 8. Uh, I think that's Kirishima. Let's double check. Is that Kirishima? That is. We already did him. 14. That is Tokoyami, I think. That is Tokoyami. I already, like, I know these by heart by now because the amount of times I've gotten a reroll. Um... 19 okay is 19 a new character please tell me it's a new character uh 
Okay, it is. Oh my goodness. At long last, we finally got a character. Okay. So, next video, we're going to be playing seat, nine, um, seat number 19, Minoru Mineta. Okay, so he was the uh, second addition to the game, you know. Um, out of the class 1A students that got added to My Hero 1 Justice 2 that weren't in the first game, Ashido and Mineta were the two. So, Mineta is a new character technically. So, we're going to, uh, well, he's a new character to the series as well. So, we're going to do Mineta next time. Okay, so we finally got one after like a million rerolls. Okay, so next time we're going to do Mineta. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay.